really great topic and I'm really, really excited to be here with you guys because as you can see by looking at me, I am definitely one of those women who carries herself with a pop of color on my lips and that is my go-to and I run out the door, everything's about the lips. Well, my new normal does not look like that. So this is actually something that not only am I excited to be facilitating this with my amazing team, I'm excited to actually learn about this because my eyes disappear behind my glasses and I really want to get that strong pop. And, and as we know right now, our eyes are everything. They're everything. They show whether we're happy, we're sad, you know, behind this. So um, we've got a lot of women joining us today, which is super great. And some really cool guys who want to check us out too. And uh, so I thought I'd quickly play a game. So right now we've put everybody on mute and we're going to ask that throughout the um, throughout the uh, presentation that you stay on mute for us, but we want this to be as interactive as possible. So if you're not used to Zoom and you haven't used our chat room before, scroll down to the bottom and you'll see a chat box. And I'm going to encourage you to keep the chat box open. And the game I wanna play with you guys, and let me get it started. Is I'd like to know who I have in the audience. So where you're from, are you new to Shantakai? And if you're not new, new to Shantakai, I wanna know what your favorite product is. So I'm from San Francisco and my favorite product is the Radiance Elixir. Now, my super amazing colleague, Stasia, who's helping me on the back end right now, if you take a look in the chat room, hello, Sunita from New York City, welcome. Um, you can see that she posted a link to the Radiance Elixir. Alexandra, welcome from Hollywood. I love Future Skin. Yes, I'm wearing it right now. Um, Elizabeth from New Jersey, CBD cream, obsessed. Wearing the green, love it. Wow, you guys are fun. Um, Future Skin, CBD, uh, Nicole from Mississippi, sunscreen, yes. But this is a really cool place because this is where you're gonna see all of your questions. I'm gonna do my best to answer all of them and get my team members to answer all of these for you. Um, I've got Raleigh, my mom's from Raleigh. Um, um, she loves the eyes, which is great that you're here. Wow, you guys are fun. This is fast. I don't think I can read that quick. <laughs> um, Wendy from the Bay Area. What's up, Bay Area? Um, we've got Detroit, Yvonne, um, Jane from New York City. First product, Whale Shark Blush. Love. Have it on. Oh my gosh. So this is going to be where I'm going to answer all of your questions. And again, as our hosts are going through and talking about products, we're gonna be posting links in here. So you can click on it and look at, but if you don't feel like reading all the comments and you don't wanna start clicking links, don't worry about it. Because at the end, we're gonna send you an email that has a link to every product that we went through. It's going to have our hosts, um, personal email addresses, their Instagram handles. So if there's something that you really, you don't want to ask in a big forum like this, but you want to have privately with one of our hosts, no problem. We can do that for you too. So there's a lot of, of, of fun things. And then for everyone who's joining, I'm really going to encourage you to hang on to the very end because that's when we're going to drop all the goodies and, and all the funness. So um, yeah. How are we doing on uh, on uh, submissions? Are we doing good, guys? We've got a lot of people. Okay, cool. So I am extremely excited to introduce to you two of my my favorite human beings, my people I'm so, they're so incredibly funny and so incredibly talented. And I'm so fortunate to call them not only my colleagues, but my friends. Um, I'd like to introduce to you um, Janelle and Ramiro. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi everyone. Hello. 
How's everybody doing? Um, well, my name is Ramiro Saron. I am the global makeup artist for Shantakai. I have been with Shantakai for 10 years and it is so amazing to see uh, familiar faces and new faces in this masterclass. Um, we wanted to do this masterclass, uh, it's called All About Eyes because uh, as we all know, our eyes is our window to our soul. So we wanted to show you some tips and tricks how to really enhance your eyes, especially in this new normal. Um, so what we want to show you um, and share with you how you can brighten up your eye, how you can revive your eye, and how you can refresh your eyes with um, some key products from uh, our line. So super excited to be doing this masterclass and for you to see our uh, tips and tricks. Hi, everybody. Hi, I'm Janelle, and um, I started as a makeup artist with Shantakai about six years ago. Um, I'm now the manager for the Pacific Northwest, and I'm so excited to see such a large group, and I hope you guys have a lot of fun with us during this masterclass, and I hope we're able to show you guys something new that you guys can add into your own routine. Um, but first, we're going to start off with prepping the eye area. So I'm going to hand it over to my amazing and talented co-host, Ramiro, who's going to walk us through. So, um, and I want you to type in, in the chat if you uh, have used any of those products uh, that we'll be talking to, okay? So the first thing is hydro, uh, to brighten up the eye area. And I want to talk about our Nano Energizing Eye Serum, something like that. And then it has a rolling ball at the end. And then I, it feels really cooling on the eye. I like to like press it all around the eye. I like to do like affinity find. I like to do it all like affinity. This is, has amazing stem cells. It has raspberry stem cells, tomato stem cells. So it's really amazing antioxidant for the skin. So it helps to, I call my pillow. It helps to erase my pillow creases but I like to do it around my smile area, everywhere that I have concerns. So that's what I love about this. I also like to do it underneath the eyebrow bone. So you can just see how it just brightens up the whole eye. I love that, Ramiro. That's such a great tip. Yeah. I've never applied it in this kind of infinity um, motion. I'm gonna have to incorporate that into mine. Um, but yeah, I love this. Like Romero was saying, it's packed with so many antioxidants and um, benefits that help to kind of de-puff around your eye area, which I tend to be pretty puffy in the morning, you know, lack of sleep. And this is definitely one product that I would recommend that helps with any puffiness. Um, it's also super cooling, you guys, underneath the eye area. So it feels really great. And then again, you can use it not just here, but also like I like to use it here where I want to do some ironing out. Um, and then one key thing that I wanted to mention if you guys end up trying this product is it is housed in a glass <clears throat> container. So you want to make sure that, you know, you store it in a safe place. I like to keep it kind of in a cup and upside down on my vanity area. Um, I've broken many of these in the past because you, if you leave it on a flat surface, it just rolls off and it kind of just shatters. So be careful with that and treat it like gold. Um, but yeah, so now that we have our eyes prepped with the serum, we're going to go back in and now kind of moisturize the eye area. So I'll pass it over to Amira and he's going to walk us through. So the next step that I wanted to talk about it is hydrating the eye. So we already did the nano eye serum, right? Then we're gonna do our stress repair plus. So I call this like a your dynamic duo or your your best combo to do it together. Uh, you can do this day and night, but my other favorite word to use it is is my favorite eye cocktail. And ladies and gentlemen, who doesn't want a cocktail right now, right? I want one. Wait, it's <laughs> me too. Too, but I'd like a cocktail. I have a cock somewhere. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, I love it. Uh, and if you have a cocktail, cheers, guys. Okay, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Um, then I like to take a little bit of the cream, the eye, the uh, stress repair eye cream. And the name says it all. This 
you can put it anywhere that you have stress. Uh, if you have any worries around any part of your face, um, I like to warm it up at my fingertips and I like to do the index finger because that's the finger that we have less pressure. So I like to warm it up. I live in Florida, so it's so humid and hot. So I like to press it underneath the eyebrow too. I want the lifting and firming. Also, this has amazing anti-wrinkle hepatitis. Also, this caffeinated coffee, so I call it like espresso for around the eyes. So it wakes up the eye. And I like to put it wherever I put the eye serum. So I just like to put it wherever I put the eye serum. Because like, like what I was saying, it works great together. And then I also like to do it underneath my eyebrow. It looks so good, like Romero. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so I'm also gonna hydrate with our Stress Repair Concentrate Plus. Um, um, and I like to do it also the same way that Ramiro does. So I warm it up. Really quick, Janelle, sorry, I'm gonna interrupt you. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Julie wants to know if you could discuss the difference slash advantages between Nano Gold Eye Serum versus Rose Demay yes, yes. Eye Serum. Oh, Nano Gold Eye Serum. And what's the other product? I'm sorry. Uh, Rose Demay Eye Serum. Okay, so they're both really great um, eye serums. For me, I feel like this one, I see an immediate effect um, and it really helps to iron out any fine lines. So this is really great if you have, um, your concern is more with any fine lines. It does help with puffiness too. Um, but to me, the Rose de May Eye Lift is gonna help more so with um, any puffiness under the eye area. And the texture is a little creamier. It is gel-like, but it, it does give a little bit more hydration under the eyes as well. So that's kind of the main point of difference between the two different serums. And then I'm going to, can can we spotlight me really quick? Um, this is for Nikisha. Hi, Nikisha. Nikisha wanted to know about what lip I'm actually wearing. And so, oh, Nikisha, so beautiful. it's so pretty. I know it's a Nicole cocktail. So it's actually our vibrant lip definer. And I filled my entire lip with it. And then I took it and I put from our spring collection, which is beautiful, right on top of it. And so pretty. Kind of, yeah, I kind of, so beautiful. Yeah, gorgeous color on you. Sorry, didn't, I just want to answer oh, okay. that for her. Okay, so I like to apply my stress repair very similar to how Ramiro does. Um, I warm it up in my fingertips and then just kind of press it underneath the eye area. Um, this eye area is very delicate, as you know, so you want to make sure that you go back in and you hydrate after the Nano Gold Eye Serum. Um, it also has a bell pepper extract or stem cell extract in here, which really helps to minimize the look of puffiness underneath the eyes, um, which is great. And then what I also love is the texture of this. It has um, also shea butter in here. So the texture is hydrating, but it's still lightweight. So it's going to give you the moisture that you need without feeling super heavy. And it's going to be able to um, allow you to wear your makeup um, comfortably on top of this and it won't alter your makeup. So it's, it's going to be hydrating, but it sinks in nicely. Um, so now that we have our eye area prepped with these two products, um, we're going to go in and start on the makeup portion. So I'm going to hand it over back to Ramiro so he can walk us through that. So our eyes, like Janelle says, already hydrating, brightening. So the next step we want to talk is about framing our face. Um, it is so important. I feel like this is one of the most important things to do in our face uh, is our eyebrows because it really frames our face, especially now that wearing a mask is a new normal. So we want to frame our face. And I'm going to show you how you guys uh, do that. So I like to take our Chantakai waterproof definer eyebrow. So it comes like that. So I'm gonna show you how it comes. It comes with like a triangle shape. I love the shape of this because it makes it easier to be able to draw your eyebrows. And it's not so thin, so that's what I love. And it's a twist, so you don't have to worry about sharpening it. It comes like that. Uh, it comes in three different colors as well. I use the old brown, and then it has a little spoolie in the end. So I'm gonna show you guys how 
to really see where you should start your eyebrow, arch your eyebrow, and end. So I like to take it by the end of my nostrils. And so like that, you can see where I like to map it. I like to map it. I like to do like a little bit of a line. So like that, I know where I should start. Then I'm taking it halfway to my pupil. And that's where the arch should be. And then I'm taking it to the edge outside of the eye. That's where it should end. And I'm doing the same thing. And then I like to, of course, twist it. I like to do it, I like to start the eyebrows, a third of the eyebrow, because I don't want it to be so thick and so heavy in the, in the front here where it should start. I like to just make a little bit of the shape to see how much I want to apply. I like to step out and then look, same. And then it, the spoolie I love, because then I can brush it up. And then I like to do a little bit of a little stroke in the way you start. And this is an amazing uh, ingredient. It has avocado. So it's very, very um, nice and smooth as well. So very um, amazing to do this because it just blends so beautifully on and it's very uh, nice on the uh, eyebrows as well. That looks good, Romero. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so I really love, um, I've already kind of measured out my eyebrows using that technique that Romero just mentioned. So as you can see, I came on here without my brows and <laughs> it's a huge thing for me. I never go anywhere without my eyebrows and you can see why. Um, I don't have much hair there. They grow in very light and kind of disappear into my face. So eyebrows for me is such a huge part of my makeup tip. It's the one thing that I always do, whether I'm like hopping on a quick Zoom call or like running my errands. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the um, same brow definer and the same color that Ramiro just did in oak brown. And I like to make a little guide on the bottom of my eyebrow. I don't know if you guys, yeah, you guys can see that, right? And this just kind of is like a second reference point of how I'm going to fill in my brows. And so I like to make a little guide on the bottom of my brows, very subtle. And then I'll take the flat end of my um, eyebrow pencil and then I'll just do little tiny brush, brush strokes in the direction of the hair growth. That way I'm able to kind of fill in and you can see it looks soft and feathery versus um, me pulling the color through the middle portion of the brow and it can tend to look heavy that way. So if you bring it, if you start from the bottom of the brow and then brush it in the direction of the hair growth, you can get that soft feathery look to the brow, but you know, you still be able to fill in without it looking super heavy. And so I'm just gonna continue to fill in. And then if you get too much product, don't worry, don't panic. Um, you can take this little handy spoolie that's on the other end of the pencil and then just kind of comb it out and it softens it up immediately. Um, so yeah, this pencil is really great and it is waterproof, so it'll stay on all day and it won't smudge or transfer. And the texture of this is nice and creamy, so um, you don't have to put too much pressure on it. It does have that avocado oil in here that helps to kind of soften the brows as well. And then, so now you can see the difference. Such a huge Wow, difference. that looks amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's like, again, one of the things that I must do in my makeup routine, it really helps to give structure to my face and then to my eyes as well. So I'm going to go ahead and even it out on the other side, and then I'll have Ramiro kind of talk about the next piece of our eyes. Ramiro? So, uh, yes. Can you, um, Elizabeth wants to know, um, the, uh, Elizabeth would like to know what color you would recommend for redheads. Oh, well, what's your name again, Jennifer? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. So you read my mind. So I have it right here. I have it right here. I think I'm excited. I think I can read. Yeah, right. um, uh, so this is the colors that we have. So we have three. So 
myself and Janelle, we have our uh, oak brown. This is great for our um, brunettes, our darker hair. Then we have, this is our ash blonde. Um, this is the one that I will recommend for redheads. I know that I'm a little dark and you say, really, I can wear this? Yes, you can. Work my words, you can do this. Uh, and then this one is our light taupe. This is great for our um, brun uh, our blondes, our dirty blondes. Um, so yeah, so like that. I hope I answered the question. So the next step, so our eyebrows are already full, are already filled. So the next step that I wanna talk about it is what product to use after this is our brow perfecting gel. I love to do this uh, after our eyebrow is set. It keeps it in place, comes like that. It has a little comb. Uh, it has three different colors as well. This one is clear. I use clear, but also we have it in light and we have it in dark. Uh, so I like just to press it a little bit all over the eyebrow. And this has an amazing peptide that makes your uh, eyebrow look fuller as well. So it just keeps it in place. So it's like, like combing your hair. I like to do little strikes, little strokes. Then I like to do it on the other side. And a little bit goes a long way with this product. So look at that. So just keep it in place. This has become my new lipstick um, obsession because my eyebrows, I, I'm, look, I'm a girl from the 80s, you guys. I had very, <laughs> very thin eyebrows. And so they really had the opportunity to get extremely bushy. And I, I'm actually liking that. And this is, the, this is the one thing where I can't run out the door without it. And I like it even, you know, I mean, I'm not going to yoga because we can't, but if I were, this would just be my kind of go out. It's for my grocery store. It's for my walk. It's for anything that I need to do. If I have to get gas, ugh, then I'm putting this on. <laughs> so yeah, I love this product too. Again, I need the vol volume and fullness of my eyebrow. Um, I'm using the color dark. So there are, um, there's a light and a dark and then the clear that Ramiro was using. So yeah, I just like to kind of use this as my um, second step of kind of grooming my eyebrows and it just helps it to keep in place. I do have some stubborn hairs that like to kind of hang down. So this definitely sets my brows and then create that little fullness, um, extra fullness that I need. Janelle, uh, we're getting a lot of questions about the gel, whether it's crunchy or not, no. uh, how strong is the hold uh, for the more unruly brows, like can mm -hmm. they expect it to really kind of stick there? Can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely, I would love to. Um, so it's not crunchy at all. The, I would say the texture is pretty comfortable and it does give you a pretty good hold um, for those fuller and thicker brow hairs. So it'll just kind of groom them into place and you can kind of see, um, I think Ramiro is a good reference point. He has a lot more hair on his eyebrows and they do actually help to kind of just groom them into place and keep them up as well. So yeah, but without feeling crunchy. So thank you. Mm -hmm. Totally. And then, so I'm going to hand it back over to Ramiro. He's going to show us the next step in um, completing our eyes. Before you do that, can we um, take a quick look at what it is you keep looking into? Oh, yes. This here? Sorry. Yes. <laughs> it's Isn't this beautiful? Yeah, it really oh. is. This is part of our summer collection and it's our radio, Radiance Cheek, gosh, I have to say this, like if you say this three times fast, it's, it's super hard. Radiant Cheek Cheek Highlighting Duo. So <laughs> Three more times. <laughs> Don't make me. So this is um, our new summer collection highlighting duo. I have it on today and it's pretty soft and easy to wear. Um, the texture is kind of a gel powdery texture, so it blends so nicely and looks great on all skin types. Um, it's, I have the whale shark here. And you can see that it has kind of like a pale champagne color then a really nice, beautiful, soft um, blush. 
but it comes in a second color too, you guys. So there's also the manta ray. And let me open this up so you guys can see. This is also a beautiful color. I can wear both. It looks great on all skin types. It has more of this apricot color here of a blush and then more of a peachy gold highlighter. So you can wear this um, and kind of mix them together, you know, and swirl your brush together in this, or you can um, apply the highlighter separately and then the blush over if you want to kind of pop um, your cheekbones more or like down the bridge of the nose, you know, you can add that there. Yeah, but and then Marlena wants to know, is this gonna work on a medium, medium African-American skin tone? Absolutely. I mean, I think that if you have a richer or deeper skin tone, I would definitely go for this one. It's going to show up a little bit more on the skin. If you like more color on your skin, I would definitely um, gravitate towards this one more, which is the manta ray. And as you can see, it has these beautiful creatures. It just kind of highlights our partnership with um, Wild Aid, which is um, an NGO organization based here in the Bay Area that helps to kind of reduce um, global consumption of wildlife products. So really cool. And these are limited editions. So definitely check these out. And do you have any tricks? Uh, I'm getting a lot of questions on how to make the cheek last longer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can add, um, let's see, do I have it here with me? Oh, yes, I do. So if you want your cheeks to last a little bit longer um, or you want a fuller pigment, you can add one of our cheek gelays underneath, which is kind of how I like to layer the product. It'll just grab it more. It'll be um, give it more color payoff and then intensify the color a lot more. And these are really sheer too. So let me show you guys on the back of my hand. This comes in several, several different colors, but it is kind of a gel cheek color, but it's just super soft. I love, so that, you that. I love that you said that, Chanel, because I actually, um, to have more cheek today, uh, so it would show up, I put Vibrant on, and mm -hmm. over the Vibrant, I put the Whale Shark to give it way more payoff, color it's payoff. That's so beautiful exactly on you. I do. Yeah, thanks. Such a beautiful color. Um, so yeah, that is that little compact there. And then I'm gonna pass it back over to Ramiro who's gonna give us the next step for our eye. So before I talk the next step, I swatch oh, the, cheeks, the cheeks and cheek. So this one is our rose color. So this one is on the well chart. And then this one, it is the coral, so the multi-ray. So you can see that uh, if you have a little bit more of a darkened skin tone, you can definitely uh, wear this. It, um, I also like to do this as a little shadow. Like if you're in a quick uh, uh, go and you don't have a lot of time, just place that a little bit on the eyes and, uh, and then the highlighter a little bit on your eyebrow bone. So it just gives you like an easy one, two, three um, step. Um, right. So then, then, right? So the next product that I wanna talk about it is our, so our eyebrows is done. It's already uh, filled, it's already in place. So the next thing I wanna talk about, it is how to highlight that area. And then I wanna talk about our brow lift the clot. This is a must. This is a must in everybody's makeup uh, wardrobe. So I like to place it, to the clients, I like to place it on the outer side of my eyebrow. So because this is where I, I want the lift, right? I want the lift on this area. So I like to put it all over here. I like to focus more on that area. So like that. And then with my index finger, I like to work it and press it in the area that I just applied. That looks so good. Just gives you an immediate little lift. It also has um, mm -hmm. coffee, so it helps to definitely firm that and gives you like a beautiful lift. And then I also, I know that Janelle is gonna uh, put this normally where I love to put this when I do her uh, makeup shop. Yeah, so this is also, I'm gonna apply the brow lift a clot as well, just to kind of give my eyebrow a little cleanup underneath. And what I like, it has a really soft um, champagne hue to this. 
um, but it's very subtle. And like Ramiro said, it gives, uh, it has caffeine in here, so it gives the eyelid that beautiful lift. Um, but yeah, it's creamy and it's easy to apply. And then like Ramiro said, I just, I'll just kind of blend it out um, with my fingertip. And then Ramiro's little trick that he likes to do is putting it in here, right Ramiro? Right in here? Yes, totally in the outer corner. Yes, and the inner corner of the eye, yes. Yeah, and yes, Jane, he's still like a nice awake. Mm -hmm. uh, Jane wants to know if it's matte or if it's shimmery. It has a subtle shimmer to it. It's not like chunky, glittery by any means. It's a very soft um, shimmer here. I'll put a little bit more so you guys can kind of see. And then maybe I should put it on my hand too. Um, but yeah, it's super soft. So anyone can wear it. Um, it looks great on all skin tones you know, different eyelids, eye shapes, can definitely wear this color and this product. So I'm just gonna go ahead. That looks so good. It looks so amazing. Just gives you like a nice lift effect. And then mm -hmm. I also put it in my skin tone. So okay. like that you can also see it. It's a beautiful champagne. And we want a little bit of a sheen in that area because we want the lift. We want the, the experience yeah. of your eye to be lifted, right? So this is the... Product. I love that trick that you taught me too, Romero. Do not disturb. Yeah, in the inner corner, in the uh, inner corner, so like that, it makes your eyes look more awake. Um, so, and then I want you guys to stay tuned because one of the products that uh, we are talking about is going to be in uh, in your uh, gift with purchase. So, stay tuned. Okay, stay tuned. Um, the next product that we wanted um, to talk about, and I wanted to talk about. It's a color that uh, we want that everybody can wear, a universal color um, that anybody skin tone can use or any uh, eye coloring can use. Uh, and we want to talk about our Vanishing uh, Species Collection. Um, this is a beautiful uh, collection that uh, Sylvie uh, and the Shantakais are really proud to work with the different conservation of the animals that are stamped outside of the product in the shadow. Uh, this one, it is about the lion. So, and Shantakai uh, are really proud and honored to be working with the lion guardians and really bringing the voice. And for us to be the voice for these animals that are getting really in danger, um, and we should be the voice. And um, it comes in six different colors as well. So we have different colors um, with the different conservation that we're giving back as well. So this is a packaging I want to show you. Who's Leo's here? Who are Leo's here? Do we have any Leo's? My, uh, and then, my uh, eldest daughter's a Leo. <laughs> a Leo. They're and then great. look at look at how beautiful. Such a beautiful color. And as you can see. I want to just swatch it. So you might see a little bit of like the ferns. That's, she wanted, uh, Shantakai wanted to look like their ferns, like where the animals live, where their uh, habitat are. So that's why it looks like ferns stamped. The beautiful coppery bronze color that looks good with any, any wardrobe that you have. Um, and then I'm gonna swipe it here. And it has a beautiful texture, it has pearl essence. So it's a beautiful, beautiful shade, a universal shade. And then um, Liz would like to know, she says, and she's got such a nice comment here. She says, I'm so glad you were talking about these. I've been interested in them for years and the packaging is so beautiful. Um, are these refillable? So these are not, unfortunately they are not refillable, but um, do you want to add anything to that, Romero? Yeah, and then uh, yeah, um, they're not refillable. Um, and I also, I always, I always tell my clients that this is like having um, an accessory. So let's say that you already have our Shantakai colors at home already, and you want something to pop. This is going to be your accessory, like having your having uh, diamonds or pearls or emeralds. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be that accessory for any shadow that you have. You can use it on your lid. 
you can use it on uh, as a transition color. So this color is amazing for all of that. Uh, you can use it underneath the uh, uh, lash line. So I love this to accessorize your makeup wardrobe. So I love it. You can also use it. One of my tricks that I like to do it is with a sweet brush. So I like to take it and then press a little bit of the rose water and then press it on the eye. It gives you a little bit more intensity when you do it like this. And I'm gonna show you. I love that, such a beautiful color. It just gives you like a healthy uh, glow that we all love, a little bit of the sheen that is so beautiful. It's like a healthy glow on the, uh, on the eye. That's what we want. Mm -hmm. Collis wants to know about uh, fallout. Um, um, when you when you apply and to talk a little bit about application technique i know janelle you're going to go into that next so maybe we just yes. take a second for you to to put that on but yes definitely hollis we will address this one for you so i have my little shade and sweet brush here that ramiro showed you i've already loaded it with um the lion shadow so i'm gonna go in and just kind of tap it and press it onto the ball of the eye. Um, add a little bit more so you guys can see how beautiful this shade is. It is a gel um, powder creamy formula. So it almost looks wet on the eye. And I love the shimmer in here because it almost creates a, like a, a multi-dimensional effect to the eye. Um, but like Ramiro was saying, it works on all skin type or skin tones and, you know, all eye colors. It's such a great, easy lid color that you can throw on. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's so beautiful. And, beautiful. Um, this is probably one of my favorite shades because it goes with anything and it's so easy. Um, I find that I don't get as much fallout when I use the shade and sweep brush. And then also like Ramiro did, he spritzed um, a little bit of rose water on here first and then you can kind of dip it into the shadow as well. Um, but you know what's really great is you, if you don't have a brush, you can also just take your fingertip and then just press it on as well, which looks really pretty. And then so, yeah. Again, beautiful shade, goes um, with anything and everything, and so easy that you could just pop this on and then yep. be on your way, you know? It's not, it's so easy. It's a one, two, three, um, one, two, three, one, two, three, like when you're in a hurry and you don't have a lot of time, you know, if you have like your kids running around that you, you know, or take to the soccer game or any activities, this is easy, just put it, uh, on, on with your fingertip, like Danelle said, or with a brush, just a nice swipe, you're ready to go. So the so Ramiro, our eyes are ready. Yes. A couple quick yes. questions for you. Uh, so yes. a couple questions. I'm just gonna roll them out to you, and you can just hit, hit all these points. Is do you use foundation as a base on your eyelids before applying color? Also, can you spray the rose water on the brush for all the eyeshadow colors? Um, and that's it. Yeah. So um. I like to do as a primer for the um, for the eyelid. I like to do our camo pen uh, concealer. So this is the one that I like to use as a nice base uh, on the whole eyelid. So like that, it gives you like a nice clean uh, canvas on the eye. So um, uh, this really is one of the things that I love to use, especially if you have oily <laughs> eyelids. It it really totally. Helps. And for the other questions, yes, uh, you can use our uh, Vanishing Species Collection shadows um, wet. So like I was telling you, just pick up the product and then wet it with our rose water because it's very gentle, but definitely you can. So, um, so every, our eyes are already done. It has a little sparkle that we love. Um, so then we are going to line our um, lash line. So I love to use this and I like to use um, black, but I also like to do, um, with this shadow, I love to take our Luster Glide Silk Infuse in Jasper. I'm gonna put it right here. This is a beautiful color. It's like 
also I wanted we wanted to do something that everybody can use. Mm -hmm. So this is a beautiful uh, bronze coppery color that looks good with any eye uh, eye shadow that you have at home. But it's such a beautiful. The name says it all. It glides on the um, lash line, so you can top line it. You can put it on uh, on the lash line. You can. Um, uh, Janelle is going to show you a trick that I always, always love to uh, apply when when customers do not feel confident enough to do uh, eyebrows. So she's going to uh, show you how to do this yeah. trick. So yeah, this is also one of my favorite eyeliners because like Ramiro was saying, it goes on so smoothly. Um, I like to start on the outer um, corner first and just do little tiny strokes. Instead of trying to get it all in one swoop, I just like to work in sections. And you can see it's just gliding on so easily. Um, you barely have to put any pressure on. And then, so I'll just work my way in. And I like to do a little bit thicker on the outer corner and then um, work my way in towards the inner corner, the thinner line. Um, but yeah, I love this color because it's um, like Romero was saying, it could work for all skin tones, but it's a beautiful um, deep bronze. So it complements uh, the lion shadow really well, but it does come in so many different colors. Um, so I definitely check this product out. And then on the other side, you can see it just gives my lash, my lash and my eye a little bit more definition. On the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys Romero's trick that he likes to do and then I'll just demo it on myself. So for me, as I've gotten older, while Janelle loads up her brush, um, one of the problems that I've noticed with eyeliners, and I don't have the problem, this problem with this formula, is that I get a lot of skipping and it, it's fr it can be frustrating for me because I'm like, mm -hmm. oh gosh, and I have to go back and it's hard and this it's just, it's, when she says silk infused and it just glides on, it really does. And again, as my eyes have gotten older, that skipping really became a problem for me. So I completely just stopped wearing eyeliner. But this formula completely changed my um, desire to wear liner again because it's just, it's so easy. Okay, so totally. Ramiro, do you want to explain your little trick and then I'll oh, yeah. apply it? Sure. So I like to take you know what you know you can um um so I would I would I will explain it. So just pick up the brush and with mm -hmm. the the pencil. So just pick up the product with the brush. So like that is easier for you to have more control with it. So you just have the, the color and the product in the brush and then just uh, apply it. So like that, you have more control. People that are, you know, a little bit of scared of using eyeliner. I feel like this is an amazing trick that everybody will feel comfort, comfortable wearing uh, eyeliner. So there's no excuse, ladies, of not wearing eyeliners, okay? Yes. I heard you. I heard you. Um. <laughs> Yeah, so I like using this uh, technique that Ramiro just explained. Another good thing that kind of helps me, I know um, eyeliner, like he said, can be intimidating. You want to take your pinky, if you don't have, if you have a shaky hand, and just anchor it um, on your face. So that really creates more um, stability when you're applying your eyeliner. And then what's nice is that you have some um, time before this eyeliner really sets. So you can kind of almost use it as an eyeshadow, which is what I kind of like. You can add more depth to your eye using this technique that Ramiro uses um, and really give you know, more color payoff. So Janelle, great. can you also talk about uh, long lasting on this yes. product? So it is um, smudge proof and transfer proof. Uh, like I said, you have a little bit of play time before it does set and dry and then it stays on, you know, throughout the day. Yeah, so. water resistant, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so next, Romero, you wanna talk about the next step to finish the eye look? Yeah. 
And uh, the infused silk of the um, eyeliners also is made with aloe vera, so it's really soothing, but also very creamy as well. Uh, so our our eyeliner is on, is looking great. So the next step that I think a lot of my ladies and uh, you know gentlemen also here have have purchased this product. It is our longest lash mascara, right? This is like a, a staple of everybody in here should definitely if they don't have this product get this product because i always say if you don't have the mascara on it doesn't really show the whole look i feel like this is the step that it just puts everything together uh so it comes like that so this is the one this mascara also has a peptide that creates a fuller uh lashes so it makes them look fuller it conditions as well. And also my little trick with mascara is, this is one of my tricks that I like to show my clients. It's just to take your index finger again, press it on, on, on the end of the brow. Then I want you to comb your lashes down first and look down. So you're picking every single lash that you have. Then I want you to take and wiggle it up, wiggle it up. And the great thing is, is you can use more than one code to give you that dramatic um, or soft look as well. So this is just a little bit of a code that I did, but you can see how fuller it looks. And then two quick notes on that, Romero. Um, yes. Romero showed me this trick, and for me, it was super counterintuitive to brush my lashes down. But when mm -hmm. I did, I found when I brushed them back up, they just, they opened right up and they became longer and fuller. And then also Wendy wants to say that she misses seeing you in person. And Aww. I thought that'd be nice for you. Yeah. <laughs> I miss you more, Wendy. I miss everybody. I love it. I know that we will um, definitely see each other real soon. And all of my uh, customers that I see here and all my clients, friends, I know that we will see each other real soon and always in my heart. Okay, so I'm gonna do that little trick that Ramiro um, just mentioned and lift here and then just kind of brush on the top. I love this trick, Ramiro. Wow, Romero, yes. the chat room is blowing up with love for you. I just want you to know. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Rochelle, Juliana, yeah, all kinds of ladies are sending their love. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I love that trick because if you get any fallout from your eyeshadow, it really helps to kind of clean that up. And then I just wiggle from the underneath. And I love mascara. As you can see, I have a lot of coats on. Um, and it never feels heavy or clumps on me and or flakes, which is great. Um, there's also rose water in here, so it's conditioning for your lashes as well. And there is a peptide in here that promotes um, more volume and strengthens your lashes at the same time. So I'll and hand it over. Back. Can you talk about the, um, the peptide in there that helps the lashes grow a little bit, Janelle? Yeah, it's um, just a really natural, um, gentle peptide that helps to create a fuller lash and adds volume to the lash, you know, with over time with using this product. Um, but yeah, it's safe for um, any sensitive eyes. I wear contact lens myself and I don't get any irritations from this. So just a really nice, gentle way of creating a fuller and um, more volumized lash. And then Jacob wants to know if it's okay to use on the bottom lashes or should you only use on the top? No, yeah, absolutely. You can definitely use this um, on the bottom as well, just to kind of, you know, give a little bit more uh, definition to those bottom lashes for sure. And it definitely does hold the curl. Um, there's, there's a question about that. So yeah. Absolutely, yes. 
Okay, I'm going to hand it back over to Ramiro, who's going to take us into our final step. And somebody in the chat room is starting a hashtag, Ramiro the hero. So Aww. that is so fun. I mean, so I love it. <laughs> There's so I'm going to write that down. I'm, right, I'm, right, I'm, I'm writing that down. Hashtag Ramiro the hero. The hero. Ramiro the hero. <laughs> I love it, you guys. Aww. Yes. Oh my gosh. Hard. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> More hearts, yay! More hearts, hearts. Love More you guys. Hearts. Love you. <laughs> Love you. Um, so the next step that we um, want to talk about is concealer, concealing our, you know, dark circles or any um, shadows that we have that we want to, you know, take out, uh, diminish them. Um, like I was saying earlier with the question, like which product you can use as a primer for the eyelid. I love our stilo le camouflage pen this is an amazing concealer it comes like that as a little brush and it's a click on as well so it clicks so when you get this click it about i want to say about 20 times mm -hmm. uh, because it's just you have to activate it so you click it about 20 times and then to activate it i love love this product i feel like this is one of the products as well like the the serum and the eye cream, I mean, it is like a must have if you don't have it. Uh, I place this normally wherever I have darkest uh, around the eye. So I always like to put it right here because this is where normally we have the darkest area. So really underneath where we apply the brow lift the cloth, so underneath. And just really quick, while R Romero's working on this, I want to remind everybody that you're going to get a full list afterwards of every single product that we use. We're getting so many amazing questions, and we can do this for hours, but I know you guys don't have hours. So any questions um, that you have, I'm going to encourage you to... Um, on the list that you're going to receive after the masterclass, it will have direct contact to both Romero and um, Janelle, and you can book one-on-one -on -one consultations so we can get more in depth on how to create a smokier eye, you know, underneath your glasses, how to pick out the right skin tones for you. We also have a, on our um, website, we have a foundation finder, which will really help you pick the perfect uh, foundation, concealer, um, just tone for you. Um, so, yeah, so with all these questions, I just want you to remember you're going to get an email and you can reach out to these two, book one on one appointments, and ask all the questions that you want. It's just in case we can't get to your question, I don't want you to think that, that you can't get it answered. Okay, guys, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. So, yeah. um, I, I did the concealer already in one side, so like that, I like to go with the concealer up to my cheekbone because, like that when the light reflects, you don't see no darkness. So that's my little trick to do it like a triangle. And then you can see the difference between this. I can also do it here. I like to warm it up. You can use a brush, you can use a brush, or you can warm it up with your fingertips. Tap it, you don't want, because you know the eye area is very, uh, very delicate. So you just want to tap. You can see how hydrated this product has an amazing hydrating ingredient as well. So it's really beautiful. And it has different shades. So I would definitely, I'm 4C, but it comes in different shades. And like Nicole said, you can uh, check it with our um, finder so like that you can definitely find the perfect shade for you. And Janelle, what color do you normally wear on the Lestilo Camo? I'm 4C2, um, and then I saw one of the questions in the chat box, um, when would you actually use this before or after um, doing your eye makeup? And I would say, you know, it depends, like maybe both. So if you do have an oilier eyelid, I would prep this on your eyelid first, then do your eyeshadow, and then I would add, um, like I'm doing now as my final step, I would add it last. So that if you have any fallouts, you can actually just kind of clean it up, um, you know, and tap it like how Romero was doing with your fingertip. Um, but what's also nice is this has um, some skincare benefits to it. So it helps with any 
puffiness or um, darkness under the eyes, which is great as well. Um, and then a little other trick that you can do is if you have this in your purse and you're touching up, you can just, I like to add it sometimes as a highlighter, like down the bridge of my nose or in between my eyebrows and then sometimes in um, my cupid bow area. So yeah, definitely love this concealer and it is um, crease proof and the texture and the um, feeling of this is creamy without feeling heavy and definitely wears well throughout the day, so. With that, I think that is our final look that we have for, you know, our tips that we wanted to share with you guys for our eyes. Um, I think Ramiro has a little surprise for you guys. I'm going to have him kind of discuss what we have in store for you guys. Totally, totally. So um, we want to show you, thank you for staying uh, in our masterclass. And uh, we want to show you what you're going to get when you uh, we purchase. So... The first thing that I'm so excited to show you is when you spend a hundred dollars, you gonna get our, one of my favorite products, the Brow Lift the Clot. That's the one that remember okay. that you do it underneath your um, eyebrow and then you can do it on the inner corner. So you get a full size of the Brow the Clot. And the Brow the Clot, I was just gonna um, also mention um, if you don't have a sharpener that um, that is like it has the fat uh, tubey here, um, you can uh, we do sell this as well. So our sharpener that you can definitely use our Shabby's uh, product in here, and then you can use our um, eyeliners or lip liners uh, on the other side. So it has a double ending as well, just so you to so let you know. Um, and then I'm super excited. So when you Spend three seventy five, guys. Um, you are gonna get the brow eclat, but also our beautiful <laughs> Shantakai makeup bag. I love this. You can put all of your necessities. You can put your makeup, your skincare. It's great to travel with. It has the Shantakai logo as well. And then we we wanted to do something skincare related something that you can definitely take at home and, and do it like a spa day, ladies and gentlemen. You can do a spa day with your loved ones and, and just feel refreshed, re refined. So I'm gonna tell you about the steps that comes in the gift. So the first is our Rising Geranium Cleanser, one of our favorites. It's made with Rising Geranium and a little bit goes a long way with this product. How I like to do it is I put a little bit like a pearl size on my fingertips and then activate it with water. It foams beautifully, but also has a little bit of the rice. So it has a little bit of the gentle exfoliator. Then the next step after that, it is our Blanc Gardenia Essence. This is great for people like myself that have a little bit of the pigmentation, dark spots. This will help the melanin on your skin. Um, or any spot, if you want something to brighten up your skin, this is a beautiful, beautiful product. Comes like that, so if you use this product already, it's great to keep it because it's refillable. Then the next step that I wanna talk about, it is our Rose de Main Face Cream. This is amazing, light, right? It's such a lightweight moisturizer, I call it like having like water on your skin. Mm -hmm. It just works like a, like a cocoon for your skin. So yeah. it's great for all type of skin, any type of humidity that you live uh, in. Uh, it's an amazing lightweight moisturizer for men or lady skin that also wear it. Uh, and then the final, and then you can use this of course day and night. All the products that I'm talking about, you can use day and night. And then our last but not least is our healing mask, the healing harmonizing mask. This, I call it like an aloe vera for your skin. So uh, if you get windburn, if you have sunburn, uh, any irritation on your skin, mosquito bites, this will help to diminish the redness, soothe the skin. Uh, this mask, you can sleep with it as well. So I would do your cleansing, your steps that I was telling you. Uh, and then this, you can just use this alone whenever you want to do it. I would, I want to, I would tell you to do it like twice a week and sleep with it. Just wash your skin with the rice and geranium and then sleep with this healing mask 
amazing, amazing, amazing match. So um, totally super excited, guys, that you have um, come and see us in this masterclass. Um, I am. I just want you to take with you uh, tips and tricks that we show you, and for you to become your own makeup artist at home. That's my goal for you to be confident uh, and then. Uh, play with colors. Don't be afraid of trying a new shade of color that you were not thinking about. Um, please try, please be your own makeup artist at home and try these tips and tricks that we have shown you. And I cannot wait to see you all and uh, be safe and take care, guys. It was then, really a pleasure. Really quick, you guys, before you guys go, uh, last but absolutely not least, when you go to our website, if you decide to get any of the wonderful products that Janelle and Romero have talked about today, um, make sure that so that you qualify for the gifts that you use the code, and this will be in the email that you receive afterward. I time twenty. I time twenty is not only going to qualify you for these great gifts, but it's also going to give you twenty percent off your entire purchase. So. That being said, happy shopping. Um, we enjoyed having you. Um, Janelle, Romero, you guys were amazing. Thank so you much so fun. much, everybody. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining Bye, us. Guys. It was a great time. Cheers, everyone. Bye, everybody.